allegedly hit by what police call an impatient driver on Saturday. The group of adults, elders and children was raising awareness about past traumas at St. Mary's Residential School, just up the hill from me. He decided to put his truck into drive and ended up hitting me on my right hand side here of my hip. Um, it took me underneath the truck and the tire had spat me out of the truck and I rolled on the ground and I was scared for my life that he would run me over while I was on the ground. Troy went to the hospital and was diagnosed with a concussion and soft tissue damage to his hip. His lip, hands and shoulder still hurt. Before driving through the crowd, Ingraldi says the driver yelled at the marchers. It's upsetting, it's sickening, and it's, all, it's heartbreaking. It's so heartbreaking for our people too, it's heartbreaking for the community. After seeing coverage of the hit and run, a 77-year-old man has turned himself in. His truck has been seized and the man was released without charges. Making an arrest too soon can actually uh, detriment the court process further down the road, so it's really important that we follow the letter of the law. But people at the march say the investigation is taking too long. If it were any of us, we would have been detained right away. There would have been more than one officer. There would have been charges. We would still be in cells right now. And we are doing that absolutely without any bias um, and with the victims in this case, with their best interest in mind. We don't know the identity of the driver, but as for the victims, they're still grappling with what happened and hope that charges will be laid soon. Joel Ballard, CBC News, Mission.